Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First thing starts if you're new here, please subscribe, you don't have to of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a product which I have been using, I want to say, for getting on nearly about four weeks. We're talking about the Waterman's Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, there is huge hype about this all over the line about how it can help you grow thicker, healthier, more uh, reducing hair loss, you could say, and improving scalp health. So I've been looking at this for, to be quite honest with you, about one or two years on and off, wondering, do I try it, don't I try it? I've looked at some of the reviews, um, quite a lot of the reviews actually, and many of the reviews claim to have incredible results. One or two, I have to admit, I'm kind of a little bit not sure whether or not to believe, but ultimately I thought, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I was having some problems with my hair um, since May. Um, I've got a bit of an error up here, which I'm a bit concerned about. But I think after um, uh, a chat with my uh, family doctor, um, I'm going through some tests, tests and things at the moment for a potential thyroid issue. Um, I've also been going through some health problems, an incredible amount of stress. And I'm dealing with the loss of my grandmother, who absolutely is my world. So, of course, as you can appreciate, that's incredibly difficult. So you could say I've been expecting a problem with my hair. So I thought I would give this a try. Price wise, it is on the higher end. So it's £28. OK, for these. I purchased these from Amazon. And that's a shampoo and a conditioner. OK, and I'm just trying to tell you them out. 250 ml. So it's not a large container of it, but 250 ml uh, shampoo and conditioner. And let's go. OK, so let's go a little bit more into it. So the shampoo. So it's Grow Me Shampoo. It's got biotin, caffeine and arginol, hydrating and revitalizing. So I'll just go through some of the information on the back and then we'll go through my experience. So it encourages hair growth, strengthens hair follicles, contains natural DHT follicle, uh, sorry, contains natural DHT blockers. Now, if you're not sure what DHT is, DHT is the byproduct of testosterone. OK, so the male hormone, which is present in both men and women. And that byproduct is what strangulates and causes hair related thinning if your follicles are sensitive to the byproduct of DHT. So in essence, if you're noticing that you have less density in your hair, or if you've got uh, quite a stereotypical um, of male pattern related thinning at high, uh, high temples and thinning on the top of your head, or if you're a lady and you've got overall less hair, then it's quite possible that you have got a sensitivity or your follicles are sensitive to the byproduct of testosterone, which is DHT. Now, unfortunately, what that does is over time, is it strangulates the follicle. It pushes the follicle to create thinner, finer, downier hair to eventually, unfortunately, in some follicles, not being able to produce and sustain hair growth at all. So therefore, you get that diffuse thinning. If you're a woman, more likely to get that diffuse thinning, whether you're a man, you get that predominant thinning on the top and in the temples here. So I've got fine hair. I've got quite a lot of it. And at the moment, I've got uh, length to about my shoulders. Um, and I've got it done up here into a, a ponytail easy. And I hate that. I hate that word. I hate that style. But I'll tell you the reason why I've got that today, because it was a lifesaver, because I was running short of time getting to an appointment this morning. Shampoo, it also improves scalp circulation. It also increases hair density and body and shine. It's apparently salon professional and it's a non-sulfate cleansing system. So first things first, it's got an amazing smell. It's got some amazing ingredients in here. And just going through the ingredients, okay, we have got one of my favorite ingredients, which we've got the caffeine in here. We've got the uh, niacin in here. We have, which is uh, in the family of B vitamins. But my favorite one is the rosemary leaf extract because rosemary leaf extract is known for stimulating the scalp and helping aid healthier, thicker hair growth. So great to have that in the shampoo. So we know there's a lot of great ingredients in there, really great for looking after the optimum scalp environment. But does it deliver? So I've used this, I'd say, on and off. We're getting into the fourth week now. The first two weeks, I used it religiously every single day. The third week, I used it on and off. And then now I've not used it so much, but I have used it in its fourth week. And there is a reason, because with this system, I have noticed that I've actually lost quite a lot more hair on top of the hair I'm already having a problem with, which is a little bit alarming. But after doing some research, apparently Watermans do tell you that it is typical for that to happen because it's the products working on your scalp, on your hair follicles, and it's pushing those sort of aged uh, hairs through the cycle. And then they're falling out in way for new, healthier, thicker growth. Fingers crossed that's how it should hopefully work.
But in terms of how it actually delivered on my hair, it's got an amazing smell. It lavers amazingly for a non-sulfate shampoo. So none of those sort of strong products which help it have a really, really rich lather in some shampoos. It's great. I can feel that there is certainly something going on when you use a shampoo. However, I see quite a lot of hair fall, even into the fourth week using it. I use quite a lot and styling. Um, so it hasn't really had an effect on that at all. I appreciate that Waterman say you have to use it for three weeks. But unfortunately, what I'm having a real problem is, is the texture actually leaves my hair. So using it, I absolutely understand that with thinning shampoos and conditioners or designed for thinning hair or for thin hair or for hair which is fine and lacks body and texture, shampoos and conditioners are designed to add bulk to the hair and they're designed to add that texture and that fullness. But however, I don't really want to jeopardise that softness and that slickness. I want volume and texture in my hair and I want my hair to look fuller and thicker and aid the scalp growth or that optimal environment for hair growth, but I don't want my hair to feel like straw. And I'm really sorry to sound foshy, as much as I really like the system, I will be honest, I don't love the system, but I do like it. For the price of what you pay, I'm on the fence, really, because for the price you pay for the shampoo, it leaves my hair in quite a coarse-like texture. So I suppose that moves us on to quite nicely onto the conditioner. The conditioner, this is gone. I've got none of this left in here. I've got some of the shampoo left. Okay, so if you say it's not bad going on for nearly four weeks. Um, so I've got probably about a third by the feel of it in here. And the conditioner, I probably got, I need to cut the bottle to get the, the remaining out. But on here, this is Condition Me Conditioner. It's got cholesterol, caffeine, and rosemary. Now, before you go off alarming cholesterol, of course, the type of fat, and I believe they're trying to add that as nourishment to the hair or some sort of a like sort of designed product around that. That's all that I can think of there. Um, it's also got the caffeine and the rosemary. Now we know rosemary, we've discussed that absolutely, it's known for its stimulating properties. It's really invigorating that hair growth and helping grow thicker, fuller hair. The caffeine, of course, we know is for much more of a preventative measure than a curing measure. It really does get down to the roots and revitalize and pump those follicles with energy. So really, really great to use as a preventative measure. For me, it says revitalizing and moisturizing, encourages hair growth, revitalizes hair appearance, stronger looking hair, fuller and thicker looking hair. It says frizz control, added body and shine. Straight away, let's just work that through. So encourages hair growth. As I say, unfortunately, I've noticed more hair fall. Um, Possibly if I used it for the three month period, that would sustain and that would stop because going from what Waterman say on their website, it is pushing those sort of aged follicles, those sort of older hairs, those sort of affected hairs, as you could say, by stress and one thing or another in the body, or that oxidative stress, possibly. Um, and it's making way for healthier, thicker hair. I'd like to think that's how it's working. The smell is incredible for the shampoo. The conditioner, I really don't like it. And you know, what? I can't, I can't actually tell you what it smells like. But it's, it reminds me of almost like a real old style powdery sort of perfume mixed with being outdoors. I'm sorry to say that, but no offence taken to anybody if they do like the smell, but for me it's quite overbearing. I'm not particularly keen on it. Um, it leaves your hair smoother than, of course, just with the shampoo. Absolutely it does. It does say on the back here to leave it for two to three minutes, okay, 15 to 20 minutes for a deeper treatment. I've left it on for both. Even after the deeper treatment, my hair still isn't sleek, it isn't soft. It's okay, it's conditioned but it's certainly not soft and sleek and that was when i went to the uh went to style my hair today and i don't mind showing you and i mean without sort of raising anything sort of huge here i style my hair with a ghd uh um, hair dryer. I use heat protection on my hair if I can today. I've missed that because, of course, I want to give you the true effect of what the shampoo conditioner uses. So my hair is not dry. It's not. Um, it was bleached, but I had it recently uh, coloured. Um, not all the way through. I've had like what they call low lights put through my hair. I'm in a very masculine style. It looks really, really cool. I think. Um, my other shampoos and conditioners, which I really, really love. So, for example, the Yves Rocher, that makes my hair absolutely like a dream. Um, the Neoxin, which I absolutely hated at one point in my life, but I really, really like the stage one for light thinning shampoo and conditioner. That looks after my hair amazingly well. That's going to be coming up on my channel again real soon. I also like the Andrew Fitzsimons uh, shampoo and conditioner. That's got caffeine in. Again, makes my hair absolutely amazing. And my recent, one of my favourite products I absolutely love by OGX is the uh, Neosin and Caffeine uh, uh, fight fallout shampoo conditioner and again I don't have this problem with them so with this shampoo conditioner this morning I dried my hair through as I normally would okay and it just 
felt, I mean, even now, I cannot pull my fingers straight through my hair because this part of my hair here, probably from about here downwards, it's, I mean, I can't even pull my fingers through it. It's just, yes, it's put texture in my hair. Yes, it's put body in my hair and it's made it fuller, okay? But I've had to jeopardise that sleekness because I was going to an appointment this morning, which I didn't anticipate how much time it was going to take to sort this out after my hair was really coarse. And it is quite coarse. I mean, you could say it's it's soft to a point after using shampoo, but with longer length hair, yeah, it's not great. It's not detangled. It's not well nourished after. Um, I absolutely understand that with fine or thinning hair or problems with hair, you don't want your hair to be soft and sleek, but you do want your hair to still feel that it's well looked after. And unfortunately, when I dry my hair off with this, I don't, I don't get that from this system, unfortunately. If I have wet hair, and then what I do is I take a comb and then I sleek it back gently and then I put it, like a band around it and then I put the remaining of the hair around it softly so it's up like in a man's top knot style, which looks really, really cool if I'm, um, if I'm going to work in the office. I'm in a very professional role, so I have to look on point. I have to look smart and professional. That works great. But if I dry it off, or even leave it dry naturally. It's almost like that I've got a ton of knots in my hair and it's really dry and really, really coarse, but yet slightly soft and you can tell you put some sort of conditioner through it. I think partly when you've used a conditioner, you get some sort of like, almost like a film build up on the hair, um, which I thought personally, first of all, that was to try and load thickness and texture into the hair. But ultimately, I'm just not necessarily getting on with it. For price wise, and because of so many amazing reviews online, I like the product. Yes, I would use it again. Um, but if I wanted to wear my hair straightened or or blow dried into a nice style or with volume or texture, um, then, yeah, I wouldn't use this one just because how it has made my hair feel. And even now, I mean, we're talking, I got ready very, very early this morning. We're talking at seven o'clock in the evening. My hair has had all that time and it's still really quite coarse and quite dry like, but yet you can feel I've had a conditioner through it. So I'm not saying it's bad because it's not. And there certainly is some fantastic reviews. But I think to a point, there are reviews on the website where, I mean, there's one uh, there's one man on there who, uh, young lad, I think, um, who has grown his hair back apparently in two weeks. Now, I think let's just be absolutely realistic on that. There is no way on earth hair until you notice hair thinning, okay, or you notice a change in your hair, your hair has been going through this process probably for many, many months before you've noticed it. So then for you to notice a change in your hair, it's going to take a little while. They say around the three months mark, but I think you can tell if a shampoo and conditioner is going to work for you within about two to three weeks, getting into that first month, if it's going to be your product to use. Now, of course, this will be amazing for somebody else. For me, it doesn't work. I'm probably going to stop this now and put this in the back of a drawer um, and then probably come back to it again um, and try it out again at some point. But um, to complement this system, I have also um, used their uh, scalp elixir spray. Um, so this is £28 of shampoo and conditioner, and the Elixir spray is £25. I went through that incredibly quickly, so I've had to buy two just for the time I've been using the shampoo and conditioner. So it's certainly not cheap, I will say that. There are some great ingredients there to be had for your scalp and to boost your health growth, uh, your hair health growth. Um, but for me, unfortunately, as much as I wanted to love it, it's not worked out for me and it's not helped my hair texture. I was expecting to sort of um, have this really cool style to be able to rock on this clip and really to show you how sleek and how nice and full and textured and improved my hair was on this clip. But unfortunately, I've actually had to use a band because it's just not made my hair. And in actually, in, uh, matter of fact, my roots actually don't feel particularly very nice. The tonic I'm going to do in a separate... Um, uh, like the scalp elixir in a separate clip. But I mean, even now, I mean, that may feel, seem nice to some people, but for me, it's not. And I can almost feel, it's almost like that I've sprayed something in my hair, but yet I haven't. It's almost like that it's got some sort of like residue in it. It's really, really weird, but I'm not going to diss the product. I'm sure it's amazing for some people. It just unfortunately hasn't worked out for me. <laughs> okay, so coming up, soon will be the Waterman's Scalp Elixir Spray, which 
I have tried, um, and I did like that more than the shampoo and conditioner, actually. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again just because of cost and just because of, um, in a world where things are just getting more and more expensive, you want value for money. And that went really, really quickly. Um, so I love the product, but I'd probably buy it if it was on offer, but I won't be going out of my way to buy it again. Um, but that will be coming up. But please, please, um, don't just hunt and from trying that because if you feel that those ingredients shout out to you and they're really really good and you've heard amazing reviews because there are some incredible reviews and some pictures of people's hair looks incredible but there are some people on there where it just hasn't worked and for me it just hasn't worked unfortunately um it certainly does put texture and fullness into the hair but i mean yeah just doesn't look like how my hair would normally be for me so i would feel comfortable and smart and sort of to be able to go out and sort of rock this style um because it's not and the product does kind of make that feel of that weird kind of texture in my hair but ultimately as i say give it a try for yourself um it must be a top brand because there's absolutely loads sold of it um the reviews there's tons and tons of reviews really great positive reviews out there um and there's a really great uh, support from waterman's uh, website um so yeah i'm not gonna as i say try to finish on a disheartening note but just unfortunately this time wasn't for me but thank i absolutely i mean thank waterman's absolutely for providing this great product if it's helping people and it's helping people grow their hair back through myself i've lost more hair than actually gained but i understand that could be just through the natural cycle of getting that health of thicker hair through um and that new growth through but for me thank you waterman's for that experience of giving that to people, but for me, it hasn't quite worked out. Um, on that note, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you. I will always give an honest response. And if there's anything you would genuinely like to know, which I haven't covered here, please do so. On that note, thank you very much. Until next time, take great care. God bless and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.